everyone. Um, a couple of weeks ago, actually three, I crashed my bike, as some of you might remember. Um, but I've since had it told and the insurance have uh, come and covered the damage. So I'll be riding a new frame soon. Um, I didn't really get tired of the old frame. I only had it for about a year. Um, so I basically uh, am planning to build it up uh, close to identical as the one I had. There will be some few uh, differences in, uh, in how it's built. Um, but to sum it up, uh, the last frame I had was an S-Works Tarmac. The, the, the one called the new Tarmac, uh, which I bought last year. And had it shipped to um, Italy for uh, a new paint job. Um, I contacted a guy who works at uh, Specialized, uh, a guy called Ron Jones, who does a lot of the custom uh, painting stuff for them and also the design. Um, he has done the uh, the Contador bike, the Nibali bike, and also the Sagan Camo bike. And I had an idea that I wanted uh, some camouflage uh, kind of design, but with a lot of colors in it. So we worked out a design, mostly due to Ron's uh, amazing talent, uh, and we actually made it a two-tone bike. So it had one color on one side, one uh, tone, and another tone on the other side. Uh, that was sent to Lumar Colors in Italy, who are fantastic at their work. They're really cool to work with and, uh, and easy to work with, uh, to say the least. Um, and they sent it back and I had the frame. So I wanted to do that again. Of course, it's not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to be close enough for me. By exactly the same, I mean it won't be the same as the first time. The finish will be exactly the same, identical, but the feeling is just a bit different this time. Um, doing it again um, so I just went out and bought uh, a new frame which is also an S-Works SL5 and I have it right here I'm going to show you just a, mi a minute um, it was the cheapest one I could find uh, to be honest and I got it from Sigma Sport in the UK uh, where they had uh, the 2014 I think it was maybe 15 uh, Giro d'Italia um, finish, so it was made for uh, Vincenzo Nibali at the time. has some really cool details on it, um, which is going to be ruined beneath uh, a serious amount of paint when uh, when the guys at Lumar Colors are done with it, but it looks really good and it's, it's quite a shame to actually paint over it, but it was the cheapest one I could find. Um, you can see it right here. It has a lot of cool details on it. I don't know if you can see it on this, but the S-Works logo have um, small flowers in it. Um, yeah. Also the black part here, the matte black finish, also has some flowering on it. Of course, I don't know if you can actually see this as I'm holding the, the camera in my hand, but it's, it's actually a really cool frame. Um, I was really happy. Um, with uh, my previous S-Works uh, Tarmac. It's a frame that I always wanted um, uh, ever since the SL, SL2 actually. Uh, I really started opening my eyes to, to, to specialized bikes, but um, didn't really like their paint jobs. I thought they were a bit boring. They're better now for 2016 and 2017, uh, but they were a bit boring. So if I wanted, uh, uh, and this works. I needed to do something uh, that would make it make it stand out. So I got the the custom design and had it painted. And I've gotten a lot of great responses to it over the years or over the year. Uh, it's a real eye opener, and a lot of people come up when I'm out riding, and ask me where I got it made and and how expensive it was actually. And actually, it's not that expensive. Um, the paint job at Lumar Colors is about. 500 euros and the design from Ron I think he charges uh, somewhat uh, about a hundred dollars an hour so if you have uh, a pretty good idea of what kind of design you, you'd like uh, he can probably make it fairly quick for you 
Um, so over the next couple of weeks, uh, this bike will be built. I'll show you some of the the components that I'm going going to put on it, um, and also keep you updated on the status with this frame. I'm shipping it out tomorrow uh, for Italy. Uh, have already been in contact with uh, Lumar Colors. Um, they have the design, of course, from the last time. Uh, and they'll hopefully make it just the way I want it, just like they did last time. Um, I already got some of the new parts for it. Uh, I'll be building it up with uh, SRAM ETAP, uh, which I'll go into detail with later, with uh, SIP handlebars and SIP stem. Um, an S-Works Romine Evo uh, saddle. Um, the crank set will be be a rotor 3d plus with a power to max um, power meter in it uh, that I've been using for the last I don't know really how long uh, four or five years probably closer to four than five can't really remember um, that I'm, I'm really happy with the speed play pedals of course um, and that's about it oh the wheels I just ordered uh, the wheels and I'll get into the details with them later on, but they will be in these. Um, really looking forward to those. I had Reynolds Aero 58 on my last bike, which I've been really, really happy with. Real, roll really smooth, uh, have great aerodynamics, are stable in crosswinds and all that. But it took me a, uh, a good week to figure out what kind of wheels I wanted on it and ended with the NVs. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, so can't wait to have this build up um, and keep you updated on the progress of it. So thank you for now. Bye.